Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. As a lot of you know, I did just move, so it's time for some new setup videos, starting with our home theater setup. Essentially, all of the tech I'm using in this room uh, went with more of a modern, minimal setup. However, I did add some tech, like a wireless charging side table. Uh, we'll talk about the TV I have. I upgraded my surround sound system and a lot more tech involved. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's begin with the TV. So this is the LG G10 OLED. 4K TV. This is the 2020 model, and I have to say this has been the best TV I have ever used. I did actually do an unboxing and review video. I can link to that down below if you missed it, but overall, with it being an OLED TV, the blacks are true blacks. Everything just looks great. The color saturation is amazing. I'm just a huge fan of this TV, and it is on a stand. Generally, you'd want to wall mount this specific model. However, I did buy the legs for it on the stand. Not only is watching content great, but you can also play some games with a game mode. It even has NVIDIA's G-Sync, so if I wanted to plug in my desktop to this TV, I could have G-Sync compatibility with a higher refresh rate. The TV stand itself is something I picked up on Amazon. I think it was about $250. I can link to it down below. Uh, I'm a big fan of it. It does fit my style. It's kind of a more open concept with no drawers, no cabinets, anything like that. You can just kind of see everything in there. So I wanted to keep everything minimal. And yes, you might have noticed I do have an Xbox in my home theater setup. That has just been the one I've stuck with because that's the platform my friends are on. But now that there's uh, platform exclusives and cross-platform games, the PS5 is actually fairly enticing. However, I don't know which one I'm going to go with yet. Drop a comment. Let me know if you're going to go with the Xbox or the PS5. Next up, let's talk about what brings that home theater all together, and that is the sound, specifically the surround sound I have. And this is the sponsor of the video. So big shout out and thanks to Enclave Audio for sponsoring this video. And we're going to look at their new 2020 Cinehome 2 wireless 5.1 home theater surround sound system, which I have to say has been the quickest and simplest setup process I have ever seen in an audio system. No, no joke, uh, you'll see in just a second. Very simple packaging. You get all of your speakers and a couple boxes with your cables and the main hub. Funny enough, it did come with white gloves, so you can give your speakers the white glove treatment. And taking a look at that Enclave uh, box hub, this is kind of the main hub that connects all the speakers together. Looking at the back, you do have to power it. It has an aux cable, an optical cable, or what I'd recommend using is that HDMI cable to go into your TV. And remember how I said that process was so simple? All you had to do was plug in your six different items. So you have two speakers next to the couch. You have two speakers next to your TV. You have your center channel speaker, which I have in my TV stand. And then of course your sub, which can go in one of the front corners of your room. And once your speakers are all plugged in, just plug in that main hub and use that HDMI cable to plug into the arc slot of your TV, which most modern TVs do have. And that's it. The hub will actually sync all of them together. And no, it doesn't use Wi-Fi. It actually uses its own discrete wireless network. So you don't even have to use an app to connect it to Wi-Fi. It's all ready to go as soon as you plug in that hub and all your speakers are plugged in. The Enclave Audio Cinehome 2 has full 5.1 channel wireless surround sound. It's true dedicated surround sound, obviously something a soundbar and subwoofer can't do. It has 24-bit Dolby Audio and DTS, and I have to say the audio quality has been fantastic. You can completely control the sound system and the levels from your phone. There is an app if you'd like to control and customize the levels, so if you want to add some more bass, you can go ahead. I actually had to turn the bass down because it was a little bit too much and didn't want to disturb the neighbors, but overall sound quality has been fantastic. I'm really happy with the ease of setup and the quality that comes with this system. Of course, have to keep the floors clean. This is the smart vacuum that I use. It's just off of my family room uh, on the charging dock, but this is the Bagot, I believe, uh, vacuum. I've been using it for probably about a year now, and I've just been a fan of it. It's kind of loud. That's kind of the one downside, but I think with the noise level, it comes with the power that it does clean. So it does a really good job at making sure to pick all the spills and such up. This tripod lamp is something I brought over from my last apartment. I do like it in this space. It fits the theme, the styling well. But of course I had, had to add some tech to it. So there's a Philips Hue bulb where I can change the color on it. It's nice and just depending on the mood that I'm in and the specific lighting I want, the app, I can customize it. Or I can use my voice 
with the voice assistant, which does bring me to that speaker in the TV stand and it fit kind of nicely. I was kind of surprised actually. So this is the Google Home Max and this is something I've been using for years as my kind of family room, home theater, smart assistant speaker in the room. It sounds great. It looks clean. And of course, with the Google Assistant, that's my preferred uh, smart assistant. So let's take a look at that side table. And I think wireless charging is something that should start being embedded in a lot of different furniture. So this is a side table. It's from a company called Alpha Sonic. I picked it up on, yes, you guessed it, on Amazon. Uh, it's kind of got that tripod style uh, wood design. And it's a very specific spot you have to set your phone on. It's right in the middle. So it's, it doesn't really cover the entire area. It would be nice to have a table that does that. But it is just a cool feature to have, especially when you have company or guests over and they're like, hey, do you happen to have a charger? And if they have a phone that has wireless charging, you just say, hey, just go ahead and set it right on that table and you're good to go. It doesn't have fast wireless charging built in. It outputs at five watts, so pretty standard speed. So don't expect it to fast charge your devices. And it is a little bit expensive actually at $180. On the back, you have two USB ports if you would like to add some more charging or anything like that and an aux port for uh, connection to the speaker. So yes, it does have a speaker built in. That's kind of why it has the styling that it does have. I don't use the speaker too much. I kind of wish it didn't have the speaker. I'm more interested in the wireless charging of the side table, but the quality has been solid. It also does have Bluetooth built into it. I also do like the style of it. It looks a little bit more modern. It doesn't necessarily look too gimmicky. Again, if it didn't have that specific speaker, I think it would look a lot better. And of course, with wireless charging, you need to have a cable coming out the back of it. It doesn't have a battery, you do have to plug it in. So that's everything I wanted to talk about for now with my home theater setup. More setup videos coming soon, so be sure to click that subscribe button. Drop a comment, let me know which particular items you like the most, if there's anything you think I should add. Uh, be sure to give this video a thumbs up as well. And as always, thanks for watching.